Hi, I am Luis Alejandro Ayero. I'm a Cuban filmmaker, director, uh, one of the producers of the film Calls from Moscow. Uh, my film uh, portrays four young queer Cubans uh, living in Moscow as uh, illegal migrants uh, just uh, the, a day before the invasion of the uh, uh, Russian government to Ukraine. Um, my film talks about loneliness, about uh, not belong uh, to, to a territory, to a place, but uh, and uh, also uh, about the meaning of home. I hope you can enjoy and feel um, uh, identification with uh, the film and the stories of uh, their four characters. Hi, welcome to the Teddy TV. My name is Jean Bobak, and this time we are talking about the film Calls from Moscow. Hi, welcome to the Teddy. Welcome Hi. to the Berlinale. Thank, Thank you, you for taking the time. Um, maybe let's start with a bit of context to the project. What was your starting point, um, and how did this whole film progress over time? Okay, this film starts at the beginning of 2020, uh, the beginning of the crisis of COVID. Uh, I was like stuck in Havana. Uh, everything was like, like closed. Um, I was like completely lonely. Uh, Cuba, um, my city, all my friends have left the country in the last, I don't know, five years. Uh -huh. So suddenly I was in a very profound loneliness and that a feeling make me wondering about the meaning of home. That, that was like a question that suddenly appears in a very strong way. Um, after, I don't know, two, three days, I found an article in, in a newspaper talking about uh, Cubans uh, living in Moscow, stuck in Moscow during the, um, the crisis. And I was like completely touched by their stories. Um, one of the, um, the, the people, the journalists uh, uh, knew in the article was a, a group of queer people. So yeah. I was like very stuck, very touched by their face, by their stories. Um, a very profound identification uh, about that idea of, of home and, and loneliness. So I was uh, completely um, obsessed with the mm -hmm. idea, I have to go to Moscow, I have to travel uh, to the other side of the world, and I have to portray uh, their stories and also to understand what is the meaning of home. So with uh, this encounter, with this article uh, starts the, the movie, uh, it was like a very crazy idea but because I want to make a travel to the other side of the world yeah. when the world was uh, suddenly stopped. Um, I started to make uh, video calls and investigation um, uh, uh, remote. Um, I write a project and I talk with friends um, and appear Daniel Sanchez Lopez who is the uh, producer of the film and we start to to figure out how to uh, make it happen. So after a year having conversations uh, by video calls, uh, convincing friends uh, um, to make these kind of networks of affections of, of or friendship, uh, we um, uh, traveled to Moscow. Um, I was living there like two months, uh, three months was the stay in Moscow, and we have the shooting 
like for two weeks. And it was uh, suddenly, uh, two days after the end of the shooting, inside this apartment in Moscow, uh, the invasion of Ukraine starts and we were uh, there in, in, in Moscow. And this, let, let's say that the history also um, uh, entered into the film, no? And um, we have to run away immediately from, from Moscow because all the flights uh, were canceled. Right. Um, after the, the, uh, the finish uh, of the shooting, uh, back to Cuba, I keep uh, talking with the boys because, of course, I was like, very worried about, about them. Mm -hmm. um, they say, no, everything's okay here, but at the same time, everything is like in a quiet way is changing. And at some point, I, I discover or I say to myself, uh, these conversations uh, uh, makes a uh, part of the movie. So I start to record our uh, conversations um, after the break of the invasion. And it was like working with uh, um, uh, editing the film by myself. Yeah. Um, when we, I have the, this first uh, cut, we, with friends, we finish uh, this movie. So I, I could say, um, this is very important for me, that um, this movie was made with uh, affections, with uh, friends around the, the yeah. world. Um, uh, because of that, and that in, in some way that became the answering, uh, the answering of that first question: What is home? Mm -hmm. No, yeah. and what is home? A possible question uh, could be with friends, um, and love, and um, some mm. idea of, yeah. of future. So yeah. that was the path of the, yeah. the film in a very uh -huh. uh, syn synthetic way. Yeah, no, it's it's a very interesting journey. Of course, as you say, like history really had an impact on how the film at the end turns out. Mm. But let's go back a bit to the beginning. Um, why are these, um, there are four main uh, mm -hmm. characters. characters that you are following um, in the film. Um, why are they going to Moscow in the, to, to begin with? Yes, it is uh, curious because uh, Russia is one of the very few countries where Cubans uh, can travel without visa. Uh -huh. So, um, since, uh, I don't know, since 10 years ago, my generation uh, has uh, uh, fled the country, uh, yeah. searching for um, other opportunities. Um, and many people uh, travel uh, to Russia with mm -hmm. the idea to make a, a better life. Of course, uh, don't happen. Uh, Russia is a very tough, uh, hard country for migrant people. Um, many of them um, end like stuck in, in Moscow, uh, trying to escape or trying to do mm -hmm. something with their lives. Uh, but at the end, many of them I have a, a, with a harder life there in, yeah. in Moscow. So that's the reason why right. uh, mm -hmm. these uh, guys are in Moscow and yeah. many Cubans uh, mm -hmm. are in Moscow right now. I see. I think it was like a particularly interesting uh, thing as well because these four queer characters arrive to a place like Russia, which has one of the worst conditions for LGBTQ Queer people. people. Yeah. Um, and to some extent, this also sweeps into the movie. But can you talk a bit more about this aspect in particular? Because that was a very interesting tension that, oh, OK, sure, they can travel there without a visa. But, but then there is this horrible situation for queer people. For queer people. Yeah. There is other thing that happened that many of the Cubans that traveled to Moscow, many of them don't have a complete picture of where are they going. So uh, for queer people, uh, it's worse for trans uh, people. I met uh, uh, various uh, uh, trans uh, women there. They don't know they are going to a worse place. Mm -hmm. uh, Cuba right now uh, still is a homophobic country, a patriarchal country, but uh, recently we have a new law that uh, uh, right. approved the um, uh, matrimonio igualitario, the marriage, same sex, sex, sex marriage, yeah. um, and other laws. Uh, but culturally, it's still a very patriarchal, uh, homophobic country. But uh, there is some kind of uh, relief for mm -hmm. queer people. But in Russia, it's not. 
Right. It's very homophobic, very, very homophobic, transphobic, uh, everything. And at the same time have these awful laws. Uh, but many of the Cuban queer people that travel to there don't know the situation. Yeah. So when they arrive, they discover uh, suddenly uh, how hard for migrant, for a migrant is mm -hmm. to live in Russia and also as a queer people, uh, all the obstacles that they have to um, to figure out how to, to, to keep going. Yeah, right. What was your um, aesthetic approach to the film? It, it's very interestingly taking place mostly in this one apartment, um, but then of course we also get some glimpses of Moscow. Um, how did you approach um, this entire project visually? Yes, yeah, since the beginning of the project, uh, we have this idea that uh, creates some kind of dialectic between interior and exterior, between the, the inside and the landscapes, yeah. you know? Uh, this inside, like a very fragile uh, ref refuge where they, they live, or where they have a, the possible life they don't have uh, outside. And also, um, uh, many of them live with, I don't know, five, ten people in a house, yeah. or they live in illegal rent. So uh, take their cameras or take their cinema, uh, put in danger uh, their own very frag fragile uh, places of living. So we um, uh, create this kind of non space, this uh, house simulated, and we rent uh, this apartment in the suburbia of Moscow, yeah. and we invite them to uh, live there two, three days, and just uh, share time there, and yeah. uh, uh, shooting the, their, their actions, their calls. So the idea was to create this inside, uh, this uh, non play, this uh, kind of simulation mm -hmm. of the home they don't have, uh, and in dialectic with this outside, this la landscape yeah. hostile that they don't be don't belong. Mm -hmm. uh, so that that was the idea since the beginning mm -hmm. of the project, and later uh, being there in Moscow, making the re um, investigation and discovering that it's impossible to. Uh, films uh, to film in their in their homes so yeah. that was the idea yeah but that was also an intriguing part of the film as you say as well that it takes place in that one apartment mostly it's recognizable that they are in that one apartment but we never see them together hmm. um, what was your aim with that no, uh, we shoot with them uh, intuitively yeah. Um, that idea I was uh, thinking, you know, mm -hmm. in, in, later in the montage of the images um, that create some kind of phantas phantasmagoric uh, presence, you know, mm -hmm. like there was some, some kind of, of, of ghost, you know, and make some estrangement uh, mm -hmm. inside this apartment that they live in the same space, but they don't live, uh, they don't uh, talk and never uh, between each other. So um, that was the idea, the idea for, for uh, at the time we shoot with them in individual, but later in the montage, uh, mm. create this estrangement, this phantom, phantomagoric presence uh, yeah. in any of them, in yeah. one of them. So the film is like indeed tackling this question of what is home and where home could be. Um, and you already touched upon what is it that you took away mm -hmm. from this process regarding this question. Um, what do you think, what is it that your characters took away? Um, from the, from did, the movie? Yeah, with, with regards to this question, did they find some sort of meaning to this concept of home and where that could be? Did they find a home? Mm, uh, let's say uh, the situations, both uh, uh, ha uh, two of them back to Cuba, uh, um, they are with their family, their boyfriends, but two of them are still living in, in Moscow mm -hmm. in a very tough uh, life. Um, I think um, the timeshare uh, during the shooting and later uh, by, by calls and encounters in Havana, I don't know if they 
take something with with them. I don't know. They have a, a company of friendship, not mm -hmm. only with me, also with Maria Gracia, is the cinematographer yeah. Daniel. Um, they they show me their work. I show mine. So, so this kind of encounter make a, a, a new friendship. Mm -hmm. um, that's all that. Um, the most valuous uh, yeah. thing I think uh, we, 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 can, we can create together. And also, and this is very important, yeah. uh, we try to uh, travel with all of them here to the presentation at the Berlinale. Yeah. All of them was denied the, their visa. So um, for us, it was impo very important since the beginning of the project that also the film helps them to um, to know other places, to um, uh, to go out. I don't know. Mm. Uh, um, the premiere here at the Berlinale was like a very um, um, opportunity to yeah. be all together. But unfortunately, uh, all of them were the, denied their visa to travel to here to Germany. Is there any kind of reason given in, in these situations? Uh, the same, the same, it was the same phrase that they don't prove uh, that they're going to back to their places after ah, okay. the presentation, mm -hmm. that there are possible migrants. Yeah, migration law is in Europe. Um, Sad to be. Yeah. Um, yes, I was also wondering a bit, obviously, this is such a major impact on the film, what happened on the 24th of February last year, the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Um, can you tell us a bit about um, how that impacted them living there, being there in that moment, and how it impacted you as a filmmaker who obviously care for your subjects very deeply as it comes through in this interview as well? Hmm. Um, I think that when you live in, in the um, uh, periphery, how do you say periphery? In periphery. Periphery. Uh, um, let's say like history don't uh, make uh, big um, things, you know, in a very mm -hmm. direct way. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I met a lot of Russian people, um, journalists, uh, uh, artists, activists. Uh, half of them are outside of, of Russia yeah. because they have to leave the country immediately. Uh, but uh, they live in this kind of uh, parallel world, you know, the illegal immigrant that uh, you have always uh, to be high. You always uh, you live in this kind of black uh, uh, black uh, work uh, network, you know, mm -hmm. that uh, their lives uh, always w was like on the on the ground, you know. Yeah. So. Uh, let's say history don't uh, and how affect, uh, for example, uh, many of the Russian people that I met there was very different for them. So at the beginning, and this appears in the movie, there was no nothing happens here, everything it's fine uh, because they don't participate in the public life, yeah. you know, because yeah. they don't, part uh, don't belong to the public mm -hmm. life. You know, I see. but uh, with time, for example, uh, one of the guys, the guys who work as a telemarket, uh, lost the, the yeah. work because it was cancelled uh, okay. all the transactions uh, to, to Russia. Um, the other one, like the opportunities of, for work, uh, this very precarious work that uh, maintain their in living, uh, it was very reduced with, with time. Um, and two, and both of them right now are working on construction. Yeah. Um, two of them, uh, they decide to travel back to Cuba because they discover uh, there is no future here. This yeah. is, I, I am right now in a country that started an invasion to Ukraine, a, a country isolated, a, a country with a very national, uh, nationalist uh, discourse. Uh, so I never going to make a home here. Mm -hmm. So two of them decide to back to Cuba, where the situation is worst. <laughs> so mm -hmm. let's say the the war for for them uh, make uh, a uh, make more fragile the, mm -hmm. their lives uh, after the, the the beginning of the invasion. 
And as for me, for, as a filmmaker, um, I, we, we finished our, our shooting and two days uh, started the invasion. Um, I have to change my, my, my ticket because mm -hmm. I like worry, uh, very afraid to be stuck in, in Moscow. Uh, also, I have COVID. It was like a, some kind of a very James Bond escape from, oh, from really? Moscow. Um, it was the at the beginning I could, I could fly that I have two or three privilege uh, in comparison in comparing with uh, the character of my film, the yeah. product of my film that allowed me to take a plane and being safe in, in, in Cuba. Yeah. But uh, it, I, it was like very close to be stuck there in Moscow. Um, uh, of course, I right now live in a country that uh, support the uh, Russian government, and for me that is very uh, uh, avergonzante, how do you say? Uh, shameful. Uh, shameful yeah. that uh, my, my, the government, the country that I, I live, uh, support uh, this uh, invasion, and that is uh, terrible uh, for me. Um, I don't know, <laughs> Cuba is a very special country, you know, like mm. a very isolated, um, um, these kind of events. Uh, uh, and when you live there, uh, let's say that uh, make a different um, impact in, yeah. in the life. Certainly. What do you hope for these characters? I mean, you mentioned that two of them return to Cuba, two of them are still under very precarious conditions living mm -hmm. uh, in Russia. Um, what is your hope for them? What, what are you wishing for? Um, for I wish um, the, th the things that I want for my generation, for, um, for many people, you know, that they can um, make some idea of future uh, with uh, their abilities, with their possibilities, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them want to make a, a, like a little store, uh, the other one wants to make a model. Mm -hmm. um, I w wish that they, they can find their, um, their own idea of future. Mm -hmm. uh, and let, let, let's see, let's see what happens. Uh, yeah. when, when, you, when you make a film with uh, someone, do you create some kind of, of relation for life, you know? Absolutely. So, I don't know, I'm growing up, uh, we have also, we, we have almost the same age, so let's say we are growing together, you know? Mm -hmm. Of course, in very different positions, I'm very aware of the two, three privilege that I have, I'm very aware of that, but uh, the idea is precisely uh, through the film and through our friendship to share uh, the, those two, three privilege uh, that, that, that I have. Mm, yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for thank your you. honesty and being so open about the film. Um, I wish you a great experience at the Berlinale. Mm. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your question. <laughs>